So, as the summer starts, as it begins, as I'm enjoying and taking in the sweet, sweet time of the year, I decided I'm going to treat myself to some pollo campero. This is some of the tastiest fucking chicken out there. This is from Guatemala. It started there, came up here. This is some great fucking chicken, all right? Now, I'm not here to promote the chicken, but I recommend it to anyone who has the opportunity to get some pollo campero to put some in their belly, all right? Put it in your mouth, put it in your belly. It's all good. I'm here to talk today about the pollo campero mascot. And likewise, many mascots. Because I want you to examine this with me. I want you to go down this rabbit hole with me right now. The Pollo Campero mascot is a chicken himself. He looks so happy, right? Look at the gleam in his eye. Look at the exuberance in his expression. His arms are outstretched. Eat my brethren, is what it says. Enjoy. Partake. And yet... As I look at his arms too, they're rather muscular. Looks like he has a lot of forearm uh, grippage right there, you know, like, like it's a tight grip. What if the Pollo Campero chicken is massacring his brethren and some scheme and, and some great plot to, to benefit off of their destruction, off of their, their carnage? I mean, those look like the arms. Of a, neck, of, a, of a neck snapper, right? Breaking necks, selling the chickens, cooking them up. I mean, it's a pollo cost. <laughs> it's a pollo cost. Uh, and, and how many other, like, mascots? I mean, think of, think of what we grew up with watching. The honeycombs, dude. Like, a, an addict. An addict. Like, literally, a Jonesen for honeycombs. The Trix Rabbit was abused by children about trying to have some fucking cereal. You know, I, I mean, harassed. Great Lynx harassed, the Trix Rabbit was. This is disturbing stuff, guys. We need to look deeper into the food mascots.